just realizing how little Spanish I actually know, and it's embarrassing. Yes, it's already the afternoon. Goodness, we got 12 hours of sleep. We went to bed a little bit before midnight and we woke up a little bit before Ooh, noon. Before All right, Peter woke up at 11.30. Let's get the, get the facts straight. <laughs> All right, so either way, we got 12 hours of sleep. It was much, much needed. We're bundled up because it's cold in here. It is cold in here. Our room has a separate heater, so we warm it up in there. Mm -hmm. But out here, it's cold. Yep, so we're making a cup of coffee, and then we're gonna go explore the city. This is our only day to explore Montevideo, so we gotta get out and see it. We'll grab lunch somewhere along the way because well, we haven't eaten breakfast or lunch yet. Did you show them the view yet? No, Look at we, let me show you the it's view easy. we have. So Montevideo is the capital of Uruguay, um, or as they say, Uruguay. <laughs> I can't. How do they say it? Ooh. It's, it sounds like you're away. Mm. More so than you're away. Like you. You. We heard him chanting it, but it's it's interesting. They don't actually like say a hard G, and so I'm saying it completely wrong, and I do apologize. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's ooh. <laughs> I just sound ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna call it Uruguay because I can't say it the other way. Um, but Montevideo is the capital here, and 40% of the population of the whole country live here in the city. The whole country is just a little over 3 million people. So it's great that it's not that large of a city because we did wake up much later than we were expecting to, um, so we'll have time to still explore it today. When the menu is only in um, Spanish and you ask if there's an English one, I asked in Spanish, so I can get by okay, but then any other questions, I'm just like lost. And So we got through the ordering process. We basically just went off the picture that was online. Um, that's the reason we came to this place. It looks interesting. We have no idea what it is. And it was about $15, and so it looks large too. So we'll just go ahead and split that. And uh, if we need anything extra, we can get something extra. But yeah, the, the portions here actually seem pretty large. Just realizing how little Spanish I actually know, and it's embarrassing because I took five years of it through middle school and high school. So I definitely should know this better. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get better by the time we are done with South America. Oh my goodness, look how ginormous this is. I don't think it was quite what was pictured, but I'm glad we did not get two. So this is what was pictured. This is what was pictured, and we were here to those little like balls were and stuff, which is probably the same as just the hash browns. But it didn't, have, it didn't have the meat like this does. Anyways, this still looks delicious. Yeah, so I wonder if we can get, how do you say, ketchup and butter? Um, you should know those words. I don't know if I know the word ketchup. I'll have to look it up. I don't really feel all that intelligent when I'm asking for things. I, we looked it up to know how to say butter and ketchup. And I literally, when I asked, I, I said it in their language, but I said it like this. May I have, no, I didn't say may I have. I didn't even say tape. You just said butter. I would say puedo would be can I have. Anyways, all I said is uh, butter and ketchup. Please, like, so that's like the pace I was talking in their language. So just a reminder, when people are coming and visiting your country and they're trying to speak your language, like, give them grace and like, they are intelligent people, even if they can't speak the language because it's not, it's not their first language, right? And I, and I think before when people were visiting the United States, I would be like, well, of course they should at least know some basic phrases when they come. Like, at least to, to communicate, but no, I understand, like, it is very difficult. Muy difícil. I totally butchered that. I don't, it's, it's uncomfortable getting out of your comfort zone and trying to speak the language. Anyways, just a reminder, people are coming to your country and they're trying to speak 
different language, your language. They are probably still intelligent people. It's just hard. <laughs> And they've been great. People have been great. Oh, been very no. gracious yeah, very, and patient very with us. Nice. Very nice. To us. They're very patient, which is very nice. <laughs> we were wondering how to use up the lettuce and tomatoes, and we realized we had buns, so we made little hamburgers. And we never got the butter, so we're like, okay, let's do something else. Here we go. That's what we made up sliders. Pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Welcome to Latin America, where after 2 o'clock is lunchtime. So it's currently 2.30 and this place got hopping. We barely finished our meal. That was so much food. I could not even imagine as one person eating all of that. Um, we are both stuffed. That might just be lunch and dinner and breakfast. I mean, it was huge. Guys, look at the tax. 22% tax. But the nice thing is on the menu, it said it was going to be 4.40. So they already include the tax in the price, which is so nice when they do that. Because you don't know all the different areas of taxes. monument right here is to commemorate Uruguay's um, 100th year as a country. 1830 is when they got their constitution and so 1930 that's also the year that the stadium was built where we were at last night um, and that was built to host the first ever World Cup Games um, and Uruguay has so far has two World Cup titles. gorgeous gorgeous fall colors it's awesome um but we got out of the of the uber and it seriously smells like cow like cow poop like horse poop i don't know like some some kind of animal pooped around here it's like it's terrible i'm like ah it smells like cow it smells like a farm yeah we did actually see a horse and carriage like go by but it wasn't like a a horse and carriage like for tourists it was a guy carrying mattresses on the back of a, this like horse cart. So in the major city, there was a horse cart and it smells like horse poo, so. Encontrar el modo de descuento activo este día de semana, viernes y sábado, en Multiahorro Hogar, del 18 de julio y junio. They advertise on top of the street. Here, look. With the sun out, it is such a gorgeous day. Ah, oh, feels actually quite warm. Restaurant and a theater show. That's a pretty cool building. Man, our taxi driver was so nice. Um, he spoke really great English, so that was nice. I mean. It does affect your opinion because you can actually communicate, right? So he communicated with us so well, told us like all this stuff. Plus, that this is um, La Rambla, Rambla, a Rambla, a Rambla. Probably it was the, the one in the, that was the main walkway in 
Spain. It was main walkway in Spain. And in Spain, Barcelona. though, it, Barcelona. It, yep, in Barcelona. But in Barcelona, the main walkway, it was called La Rambla as well, but that was actually like shops and things like that. Here, La Rambla is just this um, spot of grass between here and then the water. And I asked, like, what body of water is this? Because I didn't think it was the Atlantic. So it's, um, they call it a river, the Silver River, um, but it leads out to the Atlantic. So it is a mix of salt water um, and fresh water. So that it's super busy in the summertime. People come down here on the beach, but not that busy this time of year. And just like that, we are done for the day. Crazy, there wasn't all that much to see here. There was the main touristy area and then La Rambla here. I right, so had like an hour, hour and a half eating, two and a half hours exploring. Um, and now here's the Uber ride to uh, take us back to our Airbnb. So Peter's washing dishes. <laughs> That's what you hear in the background. I'm You're what? I'm team Just I have you on video. I can. They can see what you're doing. And I like. I was like, get up. Get up, we have, to, we have to get you to the time difference. Get up, get up, get up. And I'm like, no, 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 I can't get up. We're gonna walk around La Rambla. Rambla. Rambla or Ramba? Rambla. Rambla. Let me in. How do I open it? I don't know how to open it. Let me in. I can't do it. Babe, it hurts my fingers. Let me in. Stop it. 